We were back in Salvador, but not for long as we jumped straight on a boat to our next destination, Mojo de Sao Paulo. Mojo de Sao Paulo is a tropical paradise known for its stunning beaches and laid back atmosphere. The town is located on the island of Tinhare off the coast of Bahia. We stayed there for two nights where we explored around town and relaxed on its amazing beaches. Hey everyone, so today we've got a big day of travel. Last night we took an overnight bus from Lensoy to Salvador, um, which went fine, which was all good. And now we're heading to Mojo de Sao Paulo. Um, so we've taken, a, we've taken the trip with a, a company called Cassie Turismo. So we've basically taken a boat from Salvador to a place called Veracruz. And I believe now we're transferring to a um, bus. So now we're just walking along the uh, shoreline here and we're gonna go find a bus. I'm just, we, don't, we have no clue where we're going. Um, they say stuff in Portuguese and we just follow everybody else. So yeah, hopefully we make it there. Uh, there is Salvador there across the water. So that's where we come from on the boat. Here's our bus connection here. Let's do it. All right, so we've got one more mode of transport and this one is a boat. Oh, it looks like a speedboat. All right, so we've gotten off the boat and we've finally made it here. So it was two boats and one bus to get here. So now we're just walking through town to our um, accommodation, which is about a kilometer away, apparently. This place looks really cool so far. I'm liking the, I'm liking the vibes here already. Really cool. Bon dia. Bon dia. Welcome to Mojo de Sao Paulo. Yeah, so today we're gonna take you around, show you the three main beaches here that are creatively named Praia 1, Praia 2, and Praia 3. <laughs> We arrived here yesterday afternoon and we've already had a little bit of a look around and we're loving this place already and we're super excited to show you around so let's go let's go all right at mojo de sao paulo beach too they have the gym on the beach like so and I think someone is working out right now. Hey. Just pumping some iron, you know. <laughs> iron. Yeah, as I always, or pumping some wood, <laughs> as I always do. How's you loving the gym, beach gym oh, so far? This is awesome, this gym. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, it's like, man. have uh, equipment for everyone here and some nets that you can play sports. Alrighty, so we're now walking up to the lighthouse now um, and to go there you've got to walk up these stairs so check this out very jungly up here very different from everything else that we've seen so far on this island uh, well we've only seen beaches and restaurants and bars but yeah a little bit of nature okay so it's called Fajol Mojo de Sao Paulo and we can't go inside it well it's pretty cool it's got all these birds circling around it. Uh, 
Okay, behind the lighthouse, there are a couple of trails that lead you to some viewpoints uh, in Mojo de Sao Paulo. So on this side is called Mirange do Fajo, and the other side is called Tijolesa. From up here, uh, there's some zip line activity. So let's go check them out. Okay, so we're currently at Marante Fajo or Maranche Fajo. Not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it is the lighthouse viewpoint. This is absolutely amazing up here. All right, this is the view from the Tyrolesa viewpoint. We have beach one here, beach two over here, and beach three over here. So we're about to go there now. Vamos, let's go. Down here is the port where you enter. So when you arrive, you'll be greeted by a bunch of guys with wheelbarrows um, and you can pay them to take your luggage to your hotel because there are no roads or cars here. So you'll see when you get here, everything is transported by dudes in wheelbarrows. Um, and also once you, once you get off the boat, there's a little building where you have to pay 30 reais to like a tax to enter the island. Okay, so this is Fonte Grande and uh, safety first in Brazil. There's an electrical wire going across the water here. Beautiful. Everyone, we've now made it down to beach number one. Check it out. Okay, so up here there's a few umbrellas and a few shops and stuff. And then if we go around the other side... Um, there's not much going on down here, but up here is a lighthouse. You can't see it right now, where we, we just walked down from the lighthouse. There's a zip line platform up there. And you can actually see the viewpoint, a few people standing up there. Yeah, let's walk along this beach. Find a place to sit ourselves down and go for a swim. This is the restaurant we ate at last night. It has the best views in all of Mojo de Sao Paulo. Check it out. You go around, you go around, and you look all the way down Beach One there. You can see the lighthouse at the top. Absolutely fantastic view. Alrighty, so that is beach number one. Um, so now we're going to walk to beach number two over these rocks here. They're very, very close to each other. So we'll just walk through these rocks here, past that building, and then we'll be beach number two. But yeah, this beach, is, this beach is pretty cool. Um, the sand is really nice. The water's nice. Yeah, nice. the water's nice and clear. Um, there's only a couple of um, places that have umbrellas and seats to sit at. Um, so it's quite, it's very quiet here. Um, there's, you can get some surf lessons, that's where the zip line ends, but it's got epic views of the, the lighthouse and the mountain there. Praia Dois now, or Praia Beach 2. Beach number 2. Woo yeah, this place is, you can hear the music already, it's pumping. There's like a million places with umbrellas and seats to sit at. So here, here is where it's all happening. There's people playing footch volley and all sorts of sports at the back there. There's a gym as well. Yeah, there's a gym that I was pumping iron at this morning, <laughs> but yeah. This, yeah, this place is, uh, this place is where all the action's at, yeah. I think. 
All right, at the end of uh, Praia Dois, there's this little point out here. We're gonna go walk out there now. Now I think at the end of this point, there is going to be a bloke with a cooler selling beer because everywhere in Brazil, there is a man or a woman selling beer out of a cooler. You, and you I, have some? Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy one if there's one there. I'll tell you that. Yeah, so everywhere in Brazil, any time of day, eight o'clock in the morning, till whatever, there's somebody selling beer. They start early. Yeah, they yeah. start very early. They don't mess around here. So let's go see what's at the end here. Vamos. Oh wow, it's really cool back here. It's like a hidden oasis. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Oh, this lady's taking her pants off. <laughs> okay. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh, there's a condom wrapper here. <laughs> Some people have been getting up to something. Okay. It scares me to keep going. We haven't found anyone selling beer yet, so maybe my prediction is wrong. Ow. Okay. There's just some rocks. Ow. Keep hitting myself. Ow. Drop my thing. Oh, another condom wrapper. Bloody hell. What goes on out here? There's a crab, I think we need to turn around. We're just stuck at some rocks now. Okay. Condom wrapper. Oh my god. I mean, it should be. Two more condom wrappers. Bloody and hell. The condom. Actual condom. Oh my god. All right, we keep pushing. Let's see how many more condom wrappers we can discover. Out here in the mangroves. Another one. How many is that? That's about six condom wrappers in the mangroves. Bloody hell. Okay, we're now going to emerge. Naturia wanted to get out of there because she said she didn't want to see anything that she couldn't unsee. Yeah, so basically it's just a sandy point with a bunch of mangroves and rocks. No beer cellar, which is a shame. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, that rock, man. Okay, so beach number three is right down the end there where we're going to go after this, and we're staying about halfway, like straight through there, that's where we're staying. All right, so there was no billet beer cellar out there, um, just a bunch of condom wrappers. So we're gonna go back to beach number two now, grab ourselves an umbrella and a chair, chill out and go for a swim. And then once we're done, we're gonna then show you beach number three. So let's go. All right guys, we got ourselves a couple of chairs and umbrella, and we were waiting for our drinks, and we're gonna enjoy the view here. Yeah, just chilling out. So we've finished up at Praia Dois or Beach 2. Now we're heading to Beach 3 or Praia Tres. So vamos, let's go. Let's go. All right, so this is where we're staying. Pusada Mar Azul. And there is our room up there, that window at the top. So yeah. Really, really good breakfast at Pusada Mar Azul this morning. What do you think of that breakfast this morning now? Oh my god, it's a variety of everything. Yeah, so the, the bloke come out with like plate after plate after plate and just fill their whole table with a variety of like savory and uh, sweet yeah. dishes, yeah. Uh, fruit juice, coffee, whatever. Like it was, yeah, he just, yeah, we were all so stuffed afterwards. Yeah, 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 we, could, we couldn't eat it all. He just kept bringing more and more out. 
And then when he bought the last dish, he was kind of like, okay, this is it. This is the last one, I promise. And then he like kind of bailed, but yeah, it was so good. But yeah, it was a really, it's a really good spot to stay. We've got a really cool room that like completely overlooks the ocean. Really awesome. Yeah. 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 So we're almost at Beach Three now. So let's go suss it out. All right, here comes the beer delivery guy. Oh, you can deliver that to my hotel. <laughs> So we believe we're at Beach 3 right now. We're not sure where it starts and where it ends. All right, we are back at Beach number 2. We love it here because there's you know, everything happening here. Uh, people play beach volleyball, beach football and all that. And the water was calm enough. Yeah, love it here. Yeah, we love it here. This beach is awesome. So behind Praia Dois, they have these volleyball courts and there was these guys there playing Futch Volley, which is a Brazilian sport, which is kind of a mixture between volleyball and football. And these guys were really, really good. They were doing some really acrobatic spikes and stuff, but I didn't manage to capture any of those, but it was still really, really cool to watch. So check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you got this far chuck us a subscribe and be sure to check out our brazil playlist for more brazil travel videos <laughs>